Flo Villeneuve here on set with me for a look at the French newspapers. Uh, here in France, a lot of focus on uh, that spontaneous protest, really, against President Francois Hollande Armistice Day commemoration. So we assume it was spontaneous. That's right. His motorcade was booed as it went down. The Champs Elysees demonstrators called for him to uh, resign, and they clashed with police. It's on the front page of Vemnit today. Now, when he was elected, Francois Hollande was called the president of kisses, but on Vemnit, he's the president of hisses, mm. referring to that heckling there yesterday. Papers also taking a closer look at uh, exactly who was at that demonstration and who was uh, making those noises. That's right. Well, as you were saying, turns out this wasn't such a spontaneous demonstration, or if it is one, it was pretty well organized and premeditated, according to this article in Le Figaro. It points out that there were a lot of calls online for people to come out and demonstrate. So who were the people that were heckling? Well, Le Parisien takes a closer look, and according to this article, well, it was mainly people from the far right, so the National Front, but also a lot of other far right groups that popped up during the uh, the debate around whether or not to legalize gay marriage. You had a lot of uh, groups that popped up at that time. For instance, Le Printemps Français, the French Spring, or also Le Renouveau Français, the, the French Renewal. A lot of demonstrators were also wearing red caps. Red caps is becoming kind of the symbol uh, of uh, demonstrators against the government. But according to the Parisien, whoever was out there demonstrating, this is this is very much proof that there's a profound crisis facing uh, François Hollande today. And other papers are also saying this is bad news for him, basically. That's right. And unsurprisingly, Le Figaro, the right-leaning paper, uh, says that this is proof that the revolt against the president is spreading. It's becoming general. And you can read that on the, the front page of Le Figaro. Now, in their editorial, they point out that it's outrageous that a president would be heckled on or missed this day. And this is proof that the president doesn't have any authority because yesterday's incident is just the latest on a very long list of, of such incidences. And according to Le Figaro, what we're seeing here is civil disobedience that's becoming commonplace. And Le Figaro says Hollande only has himself to blame for this. Uh, his blindness, his partisan alliances, his inefficient and relentless tax policy. Uh, Le Figaro calls on Hollande to get a hold of himself today in their editorial. L'Opinion, the pro-business paper, also says that the atmosphere is getting really heavy, like right before a storm, and says, ça craque de partout, you can hear creaking noises as if everything is going to come tearing apart. And even the business paper, Les Echo, is chiming in on this and says that the tension is rising for François Hollande and points out that this protest movement that started in Brittany, this Red Caps movement, well, it's spreading to other parts of the country as well. Flo, I'd like you to put a little bit of balance into this, but unfortunately the left papers uh, aren't being that supportive themselves, are they? Absolutely. And uh, there, a lot of people on the left are saying that they're also alarmed by what's going on. Uh, the Parisien interviews a man named Malek Bouti. He's a socialist MP that's known for being very outspoken, and he says that the situation is getting very critical. Every day there's a new crisis that feeds the next one. Uh, he says the government is not only deaf, it's dumb, it, it's mute, it does not reacting to anything. Uh, and he says that if the crisis keeps getting bigger, we're going to reach the point where there's no solution but to dissolve the, the parliament. He said that would be catastrophic. So he says the solution now is a government reshuffle. And specifically, he's calling for a change in prime minister. He's saying that it's time for uh, Jean-Marc Ayrault to go. And Mitro points out that a lot of people agree with him. And they have a poll today that points out that 67 percent of French people want Jean-Marc Ayrault out. He only has a, a, an approval rating, rating of 23 percent. That's a record low for him. And finally, the far-right leader, Marine Le Pen, um, she's released a new poster. That's right. Let's take a look at it. You can look see, read more about it on uh, Rue 89. Here it is. United French people are invincible, looking at the horizon, this arm uh, mm. <laughs> with this crowd behind her. Looks but welcoming, doesn't it? It looks welcoming, but uh, Rue 89 says it's also very familiar and points out that here's, here, here's something that it might look like. Her father's uh, ah, former okay. poster, Votez Le Pen. So same position there. Maybe it runs in the family. But also the slogan is very similar to this one. This is uh, Nicolas Sarkozy. <laughs> Together, everything is possible. So Rue 89 wonders, is this a coincidence or was there some inspiration floating around here? They're not nearly as original as Flo Villeneuve, are they? Flo, thanks a lot. Flo Villeneuve with our French newspaper review here on France Bank Coming up for you next, we've got the very latest step from the Philippines. We're going to be talking to a spokesman for the Philippines Disaster Organization very shortly. And also, we're in focus in the next half hour, a special report on the man being urged to stand for Egypt's presidency. The hero for many, hated by others, of course, Egypt's uh, Army Chief General Abdel Fattah al-Sisi. We'll uh, profile him after the break here on France